This is what I was wearing when I was raped. This is what Marvin Anderson was wearing when he finally got back on track from being prosecuted of falsely of being falsely like, charged with rape. Many consider rape to be one of the most offensive, horrible acts in today's society. A victim's life is permanently changed, resulting in leaving deep emotional scars and post-traumatic stress. The average sentence for time for rape is sentenced nine to eight years, but the average actual time served is 5.4 years. But what happens to the, to the falsely accused? Sure the, person, sure, the person falsely accused has let go of their rape charges, but what should the punish, punishment be for falsely accusing someone of rape? In my three points, I will talk about how a victim acts, why that is vital to find a justice in a story, and why, the, why there should be a law, and the new lives created. People have argued about how many rape accusations are falsified. Person, personally being victimized of this crime, I wanted nothing more than my rapist to, be, to receive jail time, and that's what he got. The most viable argument for holding someone accountable for falsifying rape is that it takes away from the fact that American society does, not, does have a problem with abuse and sexual assault. Many rape and sexual assault victim, victims are scared to seek out the help they need because no one will believe them. It took me two months to tell my parents what happened, but others may take their time to recover and process what happened. According to Hope.org, immediate reactions after a rape may vary. Some rape stories may survivors remain controlled, numb, in shock, and denial, and have denial and belief. They present a flat effect, quiet, and are reserved, and have difficulties expressing their emotions. Other rape survivors respond quite differently, being very expressive and verbalizing feelings of sadness or anger. They may, may appear distraught or anxious and may even express rage or hostility against the medical staff attempting to care for them. So back to my point, rape, rape victims may act a certain way after the crime is committed. That is wild, vital in telling if the victim is telling the truth or not. I was diagnosed after my incident. I was diagnosed with depression and anxiety caused from the incident. I do believe that rapists should get the time in prison they deserve, and so do the people who are falsely accused. Thanks to recent medical um, recent thanks to recent medical um, tools, um, a person may be able to be swabbed and will be able to help them with their story. People who are falsely accused do not get their lives back, or slowly do if they ever get the chance. And these are statistics that I found um, that were, that show the relationship to their rapists. According to this website, the United Kingdom has a law against false rape accusations, meaning one charge can result in a maximum life of a life sentence in prison. The same, the same site stated that 109 women were convicted in the UK for false rape accusations. False accusations create a negative image of the person who is wrongly accused. When there is a new story or two on TV or on social media, so society typically um, does not like the person who was wrongly accused. When there's a new, occasionally uh, society starts to believe in the victim without knowing the whole story, if it was being true or not. Due to the negative attitude from society, the accused suffers from trauma, mental and financial problems by just being falsely accused. Rapists get jail time, but why not the people who falsely accuse others of rape? There is no excuse to make up a lie accusing someone of something that didn't happen. 
It not only affects the persons and their future, but it affects their surrounding people who are the people they are close with and any memory they may have had with the person. It affects the way the person acts and thinks. During the trial, a person falsely accused has to wait for weeks, months, or even years for the right outcome. After the truth comes out, it is life, the victim's life is almost or fully destroyed. After a victim is proven innocent, it is hard to get back up because they are still looked at as a criminal, even proven innocent, for a, even though they are proven innocent, applying for a job or even going back to college can be hard. Falsely accusing someone a rape should be equally charged as a rape charge should be. So classified as a felony and the maximum life in prison. The falsely accused are equally as a victim as someone who is raped, and the suspect should get as much jail prison time as bad as the situation. Not only does the suspect deserve jail prison time, but should also be sued for the victim's family and personal emotional stress while the victim spent locked away. As previously stated, this is Marvin Anderson. He was falsely accused of raping a 24-year-old woman on December 14, 1982, and then, and then he was jailed. As you can see in this picture, when he was younger, he wanted to be a firefighter. The victim told police that the assaultant was black and that he had told her that she was not the first white woman he, would, he had known intimately. One officer who was studying the case knew that Anderson was black and living with a white woman. The officer had Anderson line up with other suspects and the victim identified Anderson to be charged. While in court, Anderson asked his attorneys to call John Otis Lincoln, who was thought of to be the real suspect in the case, but the attorneys declined. The court sentenced Anderson to hunt to 210 years in prison. In August of 1988, Lincoln came forward stating that he was the rapist, but the judge vacated the confession. After Anderson was told about the confession and how the victim's rape kit was destroyed, he reached out to the Innocent Project, which accepted his case in 1994, while being finally released on August 21st, 2002, he was being wrongfully, he was wrongfully jailed for 20 years, and now, after, in 2003, he is now has been serving in his town's um, fire department. Not all falsely accused um, cases are the same. Some might take 20 years, or more, or some might take two weeks. But. There should always be a better system and a better way to figure out right from wrong. Thank you.